In this video we will show you in brief most of the workspace components. The welcome tab was explained in our quick start video, so let's explore our workspace while working on a design. When you take a look at the top of the software window, you can see some drop-down menus. These menus provide access to most of the software options. There are some functions which can only be accessed through these drop-down menus. Looking at the toolbar on top, you can see the most basic functions. New design, open design, import file, print, undo, redo, copy and paste, fabric selection, technique selection and some others. Have in mind that the menus and the standard toolbar are context sensitive, which practically means that not all tools and options are visible all the time. They appear only when they can actually be applied. For example, the Align tools appear when multiple objects are selected. When nothing is selected, the Align tools are not visible. So don't be surprised if the toolbars change while you explore the workspace. Now on the left, there is a toolbar which has most of the available tools of the software. Selection tools, edit shape, edit stitches, zoom tools, measure, stitch flow, slow redraw, digitize tools, insert ready-made shapes, lettering tools, the array tool, Here's also the color manager, machine hoop selection and the guideline editor. All those tools act like working modes, that is, when you start using any tool it remains active until you choose another tool or, or switch to the default selection mode. For example, if you start the text tool, you can keep adding text objects until you select another tool or switch to the selection mode. At the bottom right area, you can see and edit the colors that are currently being used in the design. The created objects can have a fill property and an outline property. On the upper line, you can view the outline colors and on the lower line, the fill colors. The Sequence Manager provides a graphical representation of the embroidery sequence. It also allows you to take control of the sewing sequence of your design. Next to the Sequence Manager, you will see the Properties bar. This bar consists of two tabs, one for object properties and one for colors. The Colors tab can help you choose colors from many different color palettes. On the Properties tab, you can see and set the properties of any object for both its fill and its outline. For example, if you select this part, you shall see that it has a running stitch outline and a step fill. You can easily change the fill properties if you click on any other stitch type. Let's click on the fill properties and change from step to satin. See how the appearance of the stitching has changed? Have in mind though that the available types vary according to the enabled techniques. For example, when only the embroidery technique is enabled, you can only see the available embroidery types. If the cat technique is also enabled, you get to see the cat outline type as well. Likewise, for the paint technique, you get to see the various paint types that are also available. 